Hello, welcome to News Update. The Academic Staff Union of Universities and the Joint Action Committee of the Nine Academic Staff Union of Educational and Associated Institutions and Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities have said the federal government did not reach a strong agreement with them that can lead to culling of the industrial actions. Our on Okokan 4th Yoruba and Ghani Adams has warned those fanning the ember of ethnic and religious violence in the southwest to desist from the act. Chairman of a faction in the Oshun State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, Wale Ojo, and Sanders said the process of his defection to the All Progressive Congress has commenced. The Christian Association of Nigeria 19 Northern States and Abuja chapter has directed Christian leaders in the country to terminate their participation in the activities of the Nigerian Interreligious Council until their counterpart of the Islamic faith show commitment to tame their followers on equal terms. President Muhammadu Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami have filed a suit at the Supreme Court seeking an interpretation of the controversial clause in the Electoral Amendment Act 2022. NATO and the United States say they are confident Turkey will not impede the membership of Finland and Sweden in the Western Military Alliance, despite Ankara expressing reservations. A former Somali president voted out of power in 2017 has been re-elected to the country's top job after defeating the incumbent leader in a protracted contest decided by legislators in the third round of voting late Sunday. Two men have been arrested on suspicion of a racially aggravated public order offense at Tottenham's game against Burnley. And that is the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.